Hi, my name is Portia Hopkins, historian, author, and social activist at Lee College in Baytown. Today I'm going to talk to you about the importance of building your family tree, tracing your family lineage, and getting to the root of your historical narrative. I'll be using an example that my own family put together from the 2012 Walker Family Reunion. To begin your family tree, most historians start with a pedigree chart. A pedigree chart will help you trace your family lineage and will also help you stay organized early on. Most pedigree charts cover four generations, including space to provide names, place of birth, when your family member was married, the date of death, and then also the place of death. This again will help you stay organized so that when you go to the Ancestry websites, you know what you're looking for. A simplified version of the pedigree chart can be found in your genealogy packet. This family at history activity sheet will help you get started. You begin with your name at the bottom where the roots are. You include your name, the date of birth, and your place of birth. To help you prepare for the poetry portion of the assignment tomorrow, you're also going to include two adjectives to describe yourself. Then, working up the trunk and the branches of the trees, you fill out additional family members' information. Once you've filled out your pedigree chart, the more advanced researcher might want to also include a family group record. The group record allows you to, again, stay organized, but will also be a quick reference guide to when you are looking for information on the genealogy websites. This form, found in your packet, was taken from Ancestry.com, but there are other group forms available for use online. This list is comprised of the top 10 free genealogy websites available online. You'll notice that Ancestry.com is not included in this list. While Ancestry is a great resource, there is a fee attached to its use. However, if you were to attend a public library or go to a genealogy library, the resource is actually free for the public to use. Two great local resources for genealogy research include the Clayton Library Center for Genealogical Research in Houston, as well as the African American Library at the Gregory School. Both offer resources and archivists that are available to help you get started on your genealogical journey. Now that you've filled out the pedigree chart, let's take a look at how this information can guide you when looking for census data. In our family history book, we were able to trace the lineage of 12 descendants of Martha Walker. Here, you'll see my grandmother, Laverne Walker. From the information gathered from the family history tree, we were able to determine that Laverne Walker had four children. One of her children, her eldest son, Derek Van Barker, married my mother, Denise Douglas and had me. We've also traced that I have been married to Christopher Hopkins and we today have no children. You can continue the lineage with more family members because my great-great-grandmother Martha Walker had 12 children. There are 12 lines or branches to this tree. Included in your packet is the Introduction to Black Roots, a beginner's guide to tracing the African American family tree. You will find building blocks of African American genealogy, and this will in turn help you to create, maintain, and preserve stories, memories, and histories of your family.